Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install and configure routing and remote access service or I can say the VPN server on Windows Server 2012. Now before we configure VPN server via routing and remote access service on Windows Server 2012 so that a connection can be done between the users between Windows 7 or Windows 10 for, uh, to Windows Server 2012, let us first of all understand what is meant by routing and remote access service. Routing and remote access service RA RRAS is a Microsoft API and server software that makes it possible to create applications to administer the routing and remote access service capabilities of the operating system to function as a network router. Developers can also use RRAS to implement routing protocols. The RRAS server functionality follows and builds upon remote access service in Windows NT 4.0. RRAS was introduced with Windows 2000 and offered as a download for Windows NT 4.0. Number 1. Multi-Protocol Router The computer running RRAS can route IP, IPX and Apple Talk simultaneously. All routing tables are configured from the same administrative utility. RRAS included two unicast routing protocols, Routing Information Protocol RIP and Open Shortest Pathways that is OSPF as well as IGMP routing and forwarding features for IP multicasting. Demand dial router point number two, IP and IPX can be routed over on-demand or persistent WAN links such as analog phone lines or ISDN or over VPN connections. Number third, remote access server provides remote access connectivity to dial up or VPN remote access clients that use IP, IPX, Apple Talk or NetBUI. Routing services and remote access services used to work separately, that is point-to-point -point protocol, the protocol suite commonly used to negotiate point-to-point -point connections has allowed them to be combined. So now let us go to our Windows Server 2012 which has been installed in a fresh manner and over there I will be telling you how to install and configure routing and remote access service so that we can able to have that is VPN server between Windows Server 2012 and Windows 7. So over here we have the server manager. So what we have to do is to click on add roles and features. So click on next. So role based or feature based installation because we are doing it for the existing server. So it is ok. So click on next. So we have to select a server from the server pool. So no need to select any other because we have the single server on this machine as a. So click on next. So now what we have to do is to, con is to click on remote access. So click on add feature so you can see that remote access provides seamless connectivity always on and always manage experience based on direct access. RS provides traditional VPN services including site to site that is branch office or cloud connectivity and routing provides traditional routing capabilities including NAT or other connectivity options. So click on next. So over here what we have to do is to click on next. So no need to add anything else. So click on next again. So over here we have direct access and VPN RAS. So we have to check this option only which has a default which is checked out. So click on next and I just click on restart the destination server automatically if required. So click on yes. So that I should not be able to manually restart. The system will be restarted automatically once it is completed. So I click on install. So in a matter of one or two minutes, it will be completing the complete installation of direct access VPN, role administration services, even the web server, some properties and Windows internal database. So after that, we have to make two or three settings. So you can see that it is taking some time but it will not take much time. So I recommend that if you are working on a virtual machine uh, at least allocate more than 3 but 4 GB would be good enough so which means that your mach machine should be powerful enough in order to do the practicals in a very handsome manner. So you can see that the configuration is required but installation succeeded on server 2K, 2K12. So either you can click on the you can say just let me get through over it. So either you can click over here remote access after closing this box or even you can click on open the getting started wizard directly over here. So I click on close and I click on remote access. 
So you can see that the configure remote access wizard has come. So there are three options that is deploy both direct access and VPN, deploy direct access or deploy VPN only because I am configuring VPN server so I will just click on deploy VPN only. So now what you have to do is to first of all check on this mark so that no option can be left out. So right click on the server, click on configure and enable routing and remote access. So click on next. So now what we have to do, there are different options. So click on custom configuration and click on next. So over here we just have to click on VPN access which means start the services that you want to enable on this server. So which means I only want the VPN access so it is okay for me. So click on next and click on finish. So it will say you that is start the service so routing and remote access service is ready to use. So click on start the service. So it will just take some seconds in order to start the service. And from the red mark we have the green mark now. So which means that uh, the server has been started in a very beautiful manner. So now what we have to do is to right click the server and click on properties. And over here under IPv4 we can just select dynamic host configuration protocol or if we have configured DHCP server we can even configure the static pool. So right now in this practical I am having only that is dynamic host configuration protocol. I just click on apply and I just click on OK. Now what I have to do is to again go to server manager and I have to enable my users so that the VPN access can be given to them via client. So what I do I just click on tools and I just click on computer management. So over here we have the local users so I click on users so I right click Amit I click on properties and come over here as a dial in. So what we have to do is to click on allow access that is network access permission. So click on apply and click on ok and same I do with the Vikram user, uh, user name. I click on dial in again and I click on allow access and I click on apply and click on ok. So this was all of the work which has to be performed on the server and now this Windows Server 2012 is ready to be acting as a VPN server. So I just minimize the server and I just go to Windows 7 now. So over here what I do, I just right click on the server, uh, on this sorry, uh, this uh, network option, I click on network and open sharing settings. So over here click on set up a new connection, click over here connect to a workplace, click on next. So click on use my internet connection and click on I will set up an internet connection later. So over here give the IP address of the server which is 192.168.1.1 and destination name can be anything either I can say that is VPN server or VPN connection anything you can make. So click on next and I just give the username as Amit. I give the password of Amit which has been created in the server and I click on connect and I click on close. So now I close this and now what I have to do is to just click over here you can see that the VPN connection is there and I click on connect. So password it demands and I click on enter. So you can say that it is connecting to 192.168.1.1 using WAN mini port SSTP. So in few seconds we will be authenticated and we will be logged on to the network. So you can see that over here we have the VPN connection which is activated. So let us see over routing and remote access. So routing and remote access we can see the computers will be there. Yes, so you can see that it is a connection which is there with Amit with duration this much. So even the ports are also there, remote login services are also there. Static routes are also configured, IPv6 because we don't know IPv6 right now because we have not configured it. So this is how we configure the VPN server on Windows Server 2012. So in this video I have demonstrated how to configure routing and remote access or the VPN server over Windows Server 2012 and how to authenticate the user, how to make proper settings. So I hope you like this video, do give this a shot, do like this video, do share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.